It's time for Palo brunch. The bread to start as well. Thank you. And also, I have the almond croissant. You have to try some. Oh, so wow. Good. And also the blueberry muffin. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. <laughs> the first sea day is perfect for Palo brunch. You have a choice of a welcome Prosecco or Mimosa. I chose the Mimosa. Then I started with a seafood antipasti, celery soup with sausage, sausage flatbread, chicken parmesan, a sliver of lasagna, and vanilla berry panna cotta with strawberry basil sorbet to cap it off. It was delightful. Everything was delicious. I had checked the Disney Cruise Line Navigator app on day one, so I know I wanted to do this photo op at Tiana's place. I use the Disney Cruise Line Navigator app throughout the entire cruise. It has lots of information for your cruise and even future Disney vacations. I also use it for the daily schedule. Let's head to chocolate and liquor tasting. These are very familiar faces in the corner. <laughs> Excellent. Well, so a lot of you doing it for the first time. You certainly are in for a treat. This is a really fun one. I mean, there's a lot of variety. As you look down at your tables, you can see there's quite a bit going on, right? So uh, on your left, we'd start with some bubbles, some champagne, of course, a rosé champagne. Following that would be a red wine from Sonoma, a blend. Next is a port wine, a really interesting fortified wine from Portugal, not Portland. Somebody said Portland the other day. I was quite alarmed at how literal they, you know, they took that name. But, uh, and then lastly, some hot stuff, a bit of whiskey. Not any old whiskey though. This is not your average run of the mill. This is something quite special and highly regarded. It's the Glenmorangie Signet which is a 30-year-old single malt scotch. And of course, this will all be paired with one of the more sought after and revered chocolates of the world, Valrhona chocolate, which is from France. An absolutely beautiful start, right? We're chocolatiers, you see? Beautifully balanced, right? Really quite soft, very smooth. Nice and firm, nice and big, but those tenons are not aggressive. They are really plush. Did I already say this is my first ever chocolate and liquor tasting? My Move own. it along, slowly. So, I'm not a fan of whiskey. I learned that here, but it did taste much better and go down easier with the dark chocolate coating my tongue first, as directed by our cast member. Not? Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. That's, that's optional, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, in the past, you know, some, some people like to kind of dip that, that cheese into the chocolate. I just want to ask for it, it? Go for it if you like. To the room for a quick wardrobe change and then to check the navigator to see what's up next. I love you, Mickey. I'm so happy to be back on your ship. <laughs> oh, thank you. Aw, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. Good night. Next up for me is the Movie Quotes Trivia for Adults Only. I've seen the film. I don't remember this quote. I don't remember it at all. I'm not going to tell you, you have to guess the film, that's the whole point of the trivia. <laughs> Number 16, I put the girl in Swinger, baby. Yeah. Number 16, I put the girl in Swinger, baby. Yeah. Next one, number 17, I see dead people. That's quite an easy one. Number 17, I see dead people. And if you do see dead people, please don't tell me. <laughs> Isn't that view gorgeous? It's so relaxing. 
These are the portholes on the way out or on the way through the after hours area, which is an area in which the movie quotes trivia for adults only just took place. The after hours area is also where the earlier chocolate and liquor tasting took place. There are a number of pubs and lounges within this area. So the Crown and Finn pub is where the movie quotes trivia just took place and the Cadillac lounge is where the chocolate and liquor tasting took place. Azure has something going on this evening, so we'll check that out. But yeah, this is a nice spot for adults only on the Disney Wonder. And just a few steps away, we connect to the rest of the ship. Let's go see what's going on and take some photographs. Hey, so we're now in Mickey's main sale, one of the main shops on board. Right across the hall is White Caps, and you can actually shop between both Mickey's main sale and White Caps at the same time. White Caps tends to have a little bit more higher end products. Mickey's main sale has lots and lots of Disney products. They're both wonderful shops. I stopped in Mickey's main sale today on day two. So let's take a walk around and see what they have to offer. We do need to go catch the show in the Walt Disney Theater, which is just a few steps away from here. So I'm gonna try my best not to stay too long in the shops so that we can get a good seat in the theater. See anything yet in here that you would buy? Let me know in the comments. If you didn't already pack ears for your Disney cruise, you can always get them on board. Of course, I grabbed candy and gifts for the family and now to the Walt Disney Theater to see the Golden Mickeys. We can't record, but I'll talk about the show after. Of course, tonight, we've got showtime. Are we all excited? <laughs> Hey everyone, so I am back in the room after the Golden Mickeys and I had to stop to record this to say, you have to see the Golden Mickeys on your next Disney Cruise Line sailing. If it's being offered, I heard that they had taken it back during the pandemic and didn't offer it all the time. And now on my Disney Wonder sailing, the Golden Mickeys is offered and I highly recommend it for any Disney sailing that offers it. You must see it. It is a great show on my very first Disney cruise in March 2005. I loved the Golden Mickeys. And what I love even more about it is that I can see how much it has evolved. I think I saw it again on The Dream, if I'm not mistaken, in 2018. And then I saw it today in 2022. And it is different each time because it evolves as Disney evolves and as the world evolves. It is so inspiring. It is so uplifting. It is so fun. You have to go see the Golden Mickeys. So I just wanted to put that out there. Um, we can't record the show, so you really have no coverage of it on this recording. I'm not gonna break those Disney rules, okay? But I am gonna tell you, go see the Golden Mickeys. You will not regret it. Nobody does theater at sea like Disney Cruise Line, and that's no surprise. Anyway, don't say I didn't tell you, and let me know if you have seen the Golden Mickeys, when you saw it, or if you plan to go see it again soon. I am gonna do a quick wardrobe change though. This is my dinner outfit. Um, I'm looking all over the camera. Forgive me, y'all know that 
I'm, I'm building up on this YouTube stuff, okay? But um, I hope I'm looking in the right place. Just know that I'm talking to you. Go see the Golden Mickeys. This is my dinner outfit. I came back to the room for a quick wardrobe change to run back down to deck four to get a picture out on the open deck in my Princess Tiana outfit that I had on earlier today. Then I'm gonna come back and change into this and then go to Triton's for dinner. So I'll see you soon. I recommend pre-ordering the unlimited photo package and jumping in front of that camera every chance you get. Now, dinner at Triton's. This is the first night that I'd meet my Disney wait staff because on day one I had dinner at the specialty restaurant Palo, so I didn't meet them then. So on day two at Triton's, I met Suta and Wendell. They took excellent care of me. I had the iced lobster and jumbo shrimp and Gaston's escargot gratiné. Disney Cruise Line is actually the only cruise line that I've enjoyed escargot on, and I don't eat escargot unless I'm on a cruise, at least not yet. <laughs> That's the only time I've had it. Anyway, just to let you know, you can order as many appetizers as you want. My experience with Disney Cruise Line has been that I can have multiple appetizers, multiple entrees, and multiple desserts. The service is excellent and the food, delicious. On the four existing Disney ships, there are three main dining rooms on each ship and your wait staff follows you to each dining room because there's rotational dining so that you get a chance to experience the theming and food from each dining room. It is amazing. I love this about Disney and you get to really connect with your wait staff and they get to know you well throughout your cruise no matter how long or short. I've done three nights and I've done seven nights with Disney Cruise Line and each time the wait staff has been spectacular and the rotational dining has been a highlight. On the Disney Wonder, the three rotational dining restaurants are Tiana's Place, Animator's Palette, which you will find across all four existing Disney ships, and Triton's. Tiana's Place and Triton's are unique to the Disney Wonder. Now back to the menu. I chose French onion soup from the soups and salads options in the menu. Yes, even after having two appetizers earlier. As I mentioned, ask for what you'd like on Disney Cruise Line and the chances are high you'll get it. And you may get some surprises too. <laughs> Wasn't that wonderful? And so is this salmon, let me tell you. It's oven-baked salmon royale, crowned with king smoked salmon and horseradish crust, accompanied by sautéed Swiss chard, truffled cauliflower puree, and white wine beer blanc. Yes, please. Thank you. And for dessert, I had the apple tart tatine, caramelized baked apple served with vanilla ice cream. I am usually the warm apple pie with vanilla ice cream kind of girl, so this fit right in. Coming in the room after dinner. There's an elephant waiting for me with some chocolate. Sweet dreams. Before bed, let's check out the Match Your Mate game show. This is a game show that we're gonna talk about love. How many of you have been in love before? Woo! I need to find the couple that has been together the less amount of time. A young, the absolute opposite. I need the couple that has been together the longest, the most amount of time, yes. I have one more couple, okay? I need a couple in between. It can be any of you, basically. So, for this one, I want you to raise your hand, to, to grab the hands of your lover. You need to do whatever it takes to catch my attention. And I can tell you. <laughs> Especially in a small state room. Especially? Particularly. Oh, no. What is the name of this room? What is it? 
You need to pick the song that describes this encounter, okay? I know. The first song could be this one. A whole new world right there in front of your eyes. The option number two is this one. The fact that these are Disney songs is so wrong! Who wrote this song? Okay, I'm almost there. Well, it's better to be close than far away anyway, so okay. I'm almost there. <laughs> Look at their faces. The choice number three will be the almost there. Why do you think this <laughs> Why? I want to know why. I have time, don't worry, I will see. Tell me all about it. Why? Why not in the kitchen? Okay. Thank you so much. All right, my friends. Well, thank you so much for coming to join us in snippets in Macho Mate. So on your Disney cruise, look down at the carpet and look at which direction the star is pointing. It helps you get around the ship. It helps you navigate. If you're walking towards the V part of the star, so like the bottom or back of the star, then you're walking towards the back of the ship. If you're walking towards the point like I am now, so the point up here, if you're walking towards that, then you're walking towards the front of the ship. That's a pro tip for Disney Cruise Line guests. And see now, I'm walking towards the aft, the back of the ship. Your girl's hair is wrapped and tied down. You know what that means. I'm just about ready for bed. <laughs> well, not quite. I am going to take a shower after I finish my Cosmopolitan that I ordered from Azure, which is the lounge that the Match Your Mate game show was in. That was really fun, guys. I didn't show all of it because, one, I don't want to give away all the questions because if you come on Disney Cruise Line to play fair, you shouldn't know the questions in advance. Anyhow, it was really cool. And as you see, it's been a great day. I started off in Palo with my brunch reservation thing is the time changed on the ship and I didn't know and that's on me because it's always up to the guest to know what ship time is and I stand by that the ships usually announce it I don't know when when and where I missed it but um the ship actually went forward to eastern standard time on day one in order to make it easy for everyone to stay on that time throughout the cruise um anyhow it's all settled my phone was acting wonky and my phone was ahead by like five hours <sighs> whatever it's all settled now um but yeah after that shaky start with timing and me running behind for my palo brunch reservation the rest of the day went really well i dressed up in a little princess tiana outfit as you saw throughout the day and got some pictures in that and then this more casual outfit for the rest of the day and it's been a casual day it's been really relaxing and fun at the same time and that's what you can get on Disney Cruise Line when you travel by yourself. I mean, it's always fun. The relaxing part and not just go, 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 go has been highlighted because I'm by myself. Usually I relax, but it's usually balanced with managing my kids. So I actually welcome this experience. That said, you too can have a great Disney vacation even when you bring your kids just utilize the Ocean Air Club or whatever kid club edge vibe whatever age group they're in there's a club for them or and or bring a grandma bring an aunt uncle or friend so that you guys can take shifts and enjoy these adult activities the alcohol tasting well it wasn't called alcohol tasting the chocolate and liquor tasting was really good and the show i already talked about it you have to go see the golden mickeys that's for all ages that was really good there's so many trivias and game shows that go on throughout the day so much to do you can't do it all but you can do a lot of it and have fun if you have any questions go ahead and let me know in the comments below i will answer them and if i don't know the answer i'll let you know but i'll direct you in the right direction i hope you have a great day and i thank you for watching night